Oh okay. man. Welcome back, Magma Munchers. Oh damn, my food is kind of cold. Let me quickly heat it up. <clears throat> okay, where were we? Oh yeah, plasma and poison. Poison applies the poison status effect. Poison also leaves poison clouds. Plasma applies Scorched. Plasma can actually ignite poison clouds. Now Plasma does 10% more damage against poison targets and Plasma also does 5% more damage against Scorched targets. Poison doesn't do more damage against Scorch targets, but it does react with itself, dealing 5% more damage against poison targets. That's literally all you need to know about this build, so let's just move on to the PvP clips. These clips were taken from my two streams, which will be linked in the description, and for those of you who are wondering, this is my build. It's a great sword. Okay, okay. Bro is literally the AoE build. My Nightmare Incarnate Vinicare's back to back <laughs> Oh my days, I... How am I playing like, substantially worse from the last stream? Like, the last stream was only two days ago And I'm playing substantially worse as if I've never played the game before Unfortunate You know, I might use Great Sword in my next build as well. I'm to beam spam. Oh, <laughs> he uses Great Sword Tornado in my microwave. That's unfortunate. Damn. Alright, we go back to igniting the whole arena. Oh. Need to have this arena lit up, otherwise I'm losing a huge chunk of potential damage. You can see I'm just whittling him down, chat. There's no point in me trying to direct impact him, I just need to apply DOT. And just pray I live long enough for them to just eventually die to that DOT. <laughs> there we go. GG, bro Damn, finally got microwaved. Vindicare. And once the new Vindicare moves come out, it's just going to be even more annoying AoE moves. Imagine the new armor pieces in the Dark Sea. Oh, damn. I probably should have figured out what his build was before I fought him because he just lit up my gas cloud. Huh. Damn. Oh, no. The fire plasma is back. No. He's, li he's lighting it up. Get me away from that pulsar. I'm summing, I'm summing. Yes, I got it off. Let me ignite. Nice, I stole it from him. Oh. There's so much frame drop. The server is not built for this. 
Oh my god, there's like this subtle frame drop in desync. Ah, and he got a microwave. GG. It's not this fair well against any type you. of berserker. Hexagonal. I'll just spam. And light people ablaze. Is he... Snow Warlord? If he is, that's really giga shot of him. That, that really is, yeah. This is for you, Hexagonal. Hope you enjoy the light show. <laughs> that is actually really oh. cool looking. He knocked me out of my beam. I killed a rookie pirate. Why was there a rookie pirate? No! Those poison clouds disappeared so quick. He's so low. Let me ignite it. Please. Look at him. It's actually working hexagonal. Who cares about this build that is freezing me when I can just set up base. Doesn't matter if he freezes me, he's just taking even more damage in return. Yeah, it's Snowy plus Sailor. What a Giga Chad combo. That is really nice. The actual Snow user has been spotted. What a rare find. <laughs> oh. Wrong move. Like, 90% of the damage he took was from my ignited poison clouds. You feel an intense headache and nausea? What the hell? I'm high off the perk 30 right now. My- Damn, my oh poison no. is blue! This looks so cool! Vitex, add new plasma variant. Whatever that was. That was so cool. Did Bro eat the out of date pie? I'm high off the lean. Oh no. The lean pie! Oh, he's gonna ignite that, isn't he? Oh my, this insanity actually is stopping me from using my abilities for like three seconds at a time. Um. When the chat, when you see that red text, I can't use my abilities for some reason. This is just a mess. <laughs> my frame dropped so bad, my music. Just died jittering hard. Oh god, I'm blind. Bro, seeing in blurs right now. Magma going mentally insane, Kirby going physically insane. <laughs> yeah, Kirby's probably just having like a blast right now, wondering what is this guy doing? Why is this guy going insane? Oh wait. I feel a strong urge to kill. Damn. This give looks you a so cool. This looks so cool. What the hell? I don't even care about this fight. This is so cool. Yeah. Oh my god. Where is Contra he? At the maximum. Now. I'm just looking at his green arrow. That's how I'm tracking him right now. <laughs> Bro. What is going on? Whoa. Everything just black and red true magma fight oh my god oh i'm i'm back in reality finally snap back to reality this fight is also lasting forever because we're both low damage poison plasma or fire uses no there we go finally oh no it's actually a battle of fps droppers He's Ash. Who can out FPS drop the other person? Let's find out. Oh, he's Ash Conjurer. Okay. Oh, get that away from me. Am I even in his Ash Cloud? 
I can't tell. He probably was shooting beams at me and I just couldn't see because of the amount of SFX. Oh, that's his Ash Cloud. Get me out of there. Was that a sunken sword? Yeah, it was. Oh my god. Oh, the moment he unleashed those beams, I felt my FPS drop. That was kind of a cool clash. Visual. Wow, those tornadoes are just pure black. That looks really sick. Am I clashing against his ash? Can anyone confirm if Plasma loses to ash? And clashes just go on the wiki and just type in chat. Oh my god, I'm in his ash clouds. I'm literally getting a taste of my own medicine. Oh my god, every time he uses his 20 beam ash, I feel my PC freeze. Get my frames up. I'm on 40 frames. Oh my god, I get my ass whooped. Where even is he? Okay, he's yellow arrow. Oh my god. What is going on? Got like a whole ass lag spike just then. Oh, and I'm dead in like... Let me get it. No. Oh, oh. Honestly, I, I think you could. I think you should try. I would like to do two V2s. That sounds fun. Yes, I got it. This guy is fire plasma, so both magics that can ignite my poison. Dude is probably just waiting. Like, sniffing. He's like breathing down my neck waiting for me to shoot poison. Let me just use that pastime against him. Yes. I got the ignite off. Damn. So much lag out of nowhere just then. I just got dealt like a billion damage and died in one combo. Gear drift, honestly. Ah, that got rid of my poison. Gum gum! Bazooka! Damn. Oh, I hate shift lock. Well, not shift lock. Every time it does that crap, where the angling is off, even though your cursor is on them. So annoying. But what can you do? Stop it. Oh, bro's uh, flame plasma. Dude is just igniting all my stuff. Damn. Does it still damage him? Because you made the poison cloud first? Nah, it becomes his. Ah. Uh. I'm about to come. Oh, oh. nice. GG. That's a blow all over him. Is he a warrior? He's a warrior, yeah. 
Yeah, I need to be careful of his damage. Need to be extremely careful of his damage. That plus 10% damage on his awakening is no joke. It's so beautiful. Yep. Oh, that was a nice prediction shot. I think that would have actually hit me if he had a little bit more attack size. Oh. Two hits equals... Three hits equals half of my HP gone. The damage warriors can do is insane. That whole time I was winning, but he got four hits off, now I'm basically losing. That's why I'm saying this build isn't that great. It's beautiful, but... Five hits. He lands five hits. And I'm now losing already. And I spent so long doing extremely well against him. Can I dash? I hate arena flooring. Can I dash? I'm literally just... What is going on? Why am I climbing every broken piece? Come on, game. Come on, Vtex. It's an arena. Not a... Climb course, GG. As you just saw, this build is absolutely beautiful. You can ignite poison clouds with fire magic too, but it doesn't look as beautiful. Also, fire makes it sound like you're spit roasting your opponent. Plasma actually sounds like a microwave. Now, I can't really give this build one single rating as it forces you to play the game very differently to how most people actually want to play the game. If you're someone who wants to deal hard-hitting blows of damage and actually fight your opponent head-on, then this build is a 3 out of 10, even a 1 out of 10 depending on your playstyle. But, if you're someone who likes to slowly cook your opponents at 200 degrees celsius for 30 minutes, then this build is easily a 9 out of 10. Poison has a very low base damage multiplier so you won't be doing much damage up front, but it has a high DOT multiplier. The purpose of poison is to slowly deal damage to your opponents and over time it will accumulate into a lot of damage. So now you can see why I'm saying you might not like this playstyle. You are literally tickling your opponents until they die. This build obviously isn't for everyone, but we can all agree that it sure does look absolutely amazing. The ignited clouds can do a lot of damage if your enemy does stay inside of it. But in a real situation, most players will probably just run away from the clouds, let's be honest. Also, the biggest weakness of this build is taking damage. Well, that is the biggest weakness of all builds, but to be honest, what I mean is one hit from a normal build is the equivalent of slowly cooking your opponents for 2 or 3 minutes. You could be playing very well for 3 minutes, dodging every single one of your opponent's attacks, but the moment your opponent gets a single hit off, those three minutes become completely invalidated and you're both even again. Also, it's worth mentioning that this build makes 1v1 fights last an extremely long amount of time for this exact reason. If you're planning on going this build, make sure to go poison as your first magic, as your first magic is much bigger than your second magic, and you obviously want your gas clouds to be as big as possible to try get the most area control. Also, be careful. Other players can ignite your clouds with their plasma or fire magic, making it their ignited cloud. But this also goes for you too. You can ignite other people's poison clouds and it becomes your ignited cloud. Alright, that's gonna be it for this video. Make sure to like, share, comment and subscribe. Have a good one my fellow magma munchers.